Okay, ready, go. Ready, go. So let's take a look at the current swing. First, this is the front view. Go. Short. Yeah. <laughs> you already know, but <laughs> so the backswing is uh, extremely short here. Right, right. So that means uh, you're just using your muscles to uh, hit the ball here. In the backswing, you don't have much body motion here. So it's just the turning, the bringing the arms up here. The elbow, the trail elbow is low. You're only going this much. So from there, you don't have much weight and then just coming down here. And then so on the way down, you're letting the club go early, away from your, from your body. So in order to generate enough speed, usually uh, if the body motion is uh, uh, correct, that you can generate enough speed. So usually the club speed is a good indicator of um, how well you organize your body motion. And uh, so in order to generate enough speed, then you first have a lot of effort so in other words, it's called the torque, okay? the, the cause of uh, rotational acceleration. So you have to have larger torque generated, and also you should have a longer acceleration time. For longer acceleration time, you should have a larger range of motion. So that way, in other words, you have a longer runway, then you can successfully lift off, right? But if uh, your runway is limited, in order to lift off, your engine should be uh, working really hard. But as we, as we get old, we lose the engine power. <laughs> I'm also in that <laughs> direction now, but... Um, Those are all the reasons yeah, I'm here. Yeah, considering your age, uh, this is a, a typical uh, you know, uh, trend. But uh, So in order to uh, uh, improve this, then you have to have a larger range of motion more than anything. But the, what um, limits your range of motion is because during the backswing, your elbow is too low here. When you're going to this position here, then you cannot go any further here. So you have to bring the elbow higher here, so that you can use the range of motion allowed. It. You have a bulky, uh, you know, body here. It's called the wisdom, <laughs> but um, but still, still, depending on how you move your arm here, you can, you can increase the range of motion. So the worst. Uh, combination of this motion here. So when the trail elbow goes long, and then going to this position, you cannot go any further. If you want to increase the range of motion, then still you have to lift the arm anyways. So if you can change the way you move your trail elbow, you can have a lot larger range of motion. So instead of stop here and then try to push the club like this, let it go all the way here and then pull the club along the shaft here as if you are drawing a sword mm -hmm. from the shit, instead of trying to uh, cut something here. So draw the sword and then let the end go here. That way, with the less effort, you can actually make the clip faster. So, uh, so you have your mixture of uh, the worst of things, <laughs> short vaccine, and then you try to cut something. Mm -hmm. So that's what I see. Yes. And this is also, Unfortunately, the most difficult you know, pattern to change. People easily get into this pattern, but it's hard to get away from it. Now, this is a down the line view. Ooh. So what you do at the beginning is um, flipping the, the hands and then just try to bring the curly head lower here. You see how the clavicle starts moving. From here, you're flipping, so the clavicle tends to follow sort of steep path here. And on, also, one of the reasons why your backswing is limited is because of your gaze. You are maintaining direct gaze. So if your face is not turning, if you maintain direct gaze, because you're afraid of losing the ball. Yeah. So when you maintain the direct gaze and try to turn your body motion limited. So then, the 
shoulder is not turned enough. But if you let the face turn more, but the, if your face turns this way here, then you completely lose the gaze here. So in order to maintain the gaze using your peripheral vision, kind of turn this way here, lift the chin a little bit. So as if somebody is holding your hairs, so the, the upper part is not moving, but then the imagine an axis here. Actually, so imagine an axis connecting the, the hand here and then your right leg here. Let's imagine this axis and try to turn about that axis. That this is held, so the head cannot move, but you can still turn the face, particularly lift the chin a little bit. When this happens, your shoulders turn more. Okay. It will allow the shoulder to turn more. To turn more. So you, have, you know, in the down the line view, the back swing pad is not too bad. It's not too flat. If you look at this. Initially, you have a flipping, but from here, you're lifting this, so uh, it's not too bad. However, you're just stopping here, about here. It's because you cannot turn anymore. It's because you have direct gaze, and uh, it limits the shoulder turn, and you have to stop about here. Right? So if you let the body turn more with the peripheral uh, vision, you still maintain the gaze, but lift the chin a little bit. With this way, you can turn the shoulders a bit more. And also, if the body range of motion is limited, then you can still use the shoulders here. So if you lift the arms a little bit higher, then you can have more range of motion. So instead of um, having the image of going to certain body position here. Okay, going to a certain body position here. Try to uh, pay attention to the motion of the club head going around your body. So this is uh, probably a big challenge uh, for, for most of golfers, but um, always uh, when you flip this and then try to reach a certain body position here. But instead, you have to move the club head around your body. So nothing should obstruct the motion of the club head. So what matters is you have to give enough motion to the club head so that you can have a longer runway on the way down. So just an easy swing back and forth, but try to pay, uh, pay attention to the motion of the club head and let the club head go around your body as much as possible. Hmm. Don't try to hit anything. Okay. Your, your goal is not to hit the, on the way down, but try to move, try to move the, the club head around. So for example, on this side, on this side, the club head goes a lot more, right? So have the image of hitting that way. Let's say, let's hit that way. You're swinging. Yes, yes, now you have more motion here. So what you need to develop is, yes, yes, yes. So when you let it go, when you let it go, let the head go around your body, then automatically you can increase the range of motion. But the only thing is that it seems the head is a bit too heavy compared to uh, the shaft here. So when the head is relatively heavy, then when you give a lot of motion here, you feel it's unstable. So it's a bit easier to, to uh, control the curly head. So you should have a little heavier chin. Yeah. So you have to have a better balance. So or fifty gram. Or uh, you can play with the weight of uh, this additional uh, thing here. So this is a fifty-five. Yeah. Fifty-five. Yeah. So you sixty or sixty. Or or you can put maybe a counter. Uh, wait here. So uh, bring the center of mass a bit closer to the... Uh, to the middle. Of the yeah, yeah. Okay. And then if the club is too heavy, when it's too heavy, then, you know, you lose the control. You have the sense of losing the control. That's why uh, you're afraid of giving big motion here, Try to stop about here. Okay. So swing back and forth. Both ways you are swinging that way 
and swing that way instead of start here and then try to swing this way. In the back swing, your goal is to swing this way all the way here. In the down swing, swing all the way this way. So that way, let the head go more. So this side, you're turning a lot. <laughs> yep. And even, even at, the, at the end of the down swing, no need to stop it. Okay. In any, you tend to just stop it here. In any direction, in any direction, let the head go, let the head go, let the head go, let the head go. No need to fight. Yeah, no need to fight. And then relax your, your wrist a little bit and really feel the motion of the color bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the idea. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. And then all you do now is uh, when you have enough motion, then you just connect it this, connect it this way. So the back swing should be connected to the down swing without, without a break. So here I emphasize the, the so called the shun rhythm, shift to turn rhythm. So when your body is reasonably moving, the, the shift motion always happens ahead of the turn motion. So in a, in a given direction, in a given direction, you are, you are shifting more, uh, actually the upper part instead of sliding the pelvis here. So more, you know, bumping into a wall and then turn, bumping into a wall and then turn here. So turn and then turn and then turn and then turn here. So the shifting, actually allows, allows you to use the legs better. If you just uh, try to turn around, the turn around here, you're turning the upper body only. But when you have a good lateral motion here, so each time you're using one leg as the foundation. So when you turn in the back swing direction, this leg becomes the foundation. So you shift to this side, use the right leg as foundation, and then turn that way. You can kick the ground using the right leg support your body and the turn. In the downswing, you are shifting to the left here, and then by using left leg and go here. Oh, uh, no, no, not instead of this, instead of this. Here, you are sliding the, the pelvis, instead of really standing on the lead side. Yeah, so just a shift here, then kick and turn, instead of sliding. But uh, the bottom line, you have to connect these well, continuous motion. So instead of the stop here, the stop here is a continuous motion, continuous motion both ways. Yeah, facing this way again, swing back and forth. Feel the, feel the motion of the club head, let it go, let it go. Now, on the way down, on the way down, okay, essentially on the way down, in the down swing, what you try to do here is just to swing this way here. Instead, instead, go up here, go up here, go up here, and then moving the body, shifting the body. Here's a, an imaginary wall here. You're bumping into the wall here, and then turn. So let's go to the top. So from there, if there is a wall here, try to push this wall. Instead of sliding the pelvis, try to use the upper, upper part of the body and then push against the wall. So the first action from here, the first action is push against this wall and then turn around here. Okay, so push and then turn. Then you will be able to turn around the left hip during the dancing. So it should be continuous. So again, ooh, and then turn. Yeah. So, but uh, let's for the moment just uh, try to increase the range of motion. So don't worry about hitting the ball. Just uh, throw this way, throw this way. Give enough range of motion. Yep. Yeah. Use the momentum of the club head. Since you you have relatively heavy club head, it should be easier to actually promote good club head motion. Yes. Yeah, swing. Swing, yeah, and then 
when you swing all the way down, so it's uh, pulling the, the club along the shaft here. So go up enough range of motion here. Instead of just uh, turning like this, you have to really draw the, draw the sword from the sheet here. This way. So bring this down this way and then let it go here. And then at the top, at the top, you have to have a bit, a bit more time. You have to have a bit more time. So if, if you imagine the motion of the uh, motion of a swing, it comes up, and then you wait until it is completed, and then you push, wait, and push instead of try to fight. The same thing. When the club goes this way here, let it go. Let, let it go all the way. No fight. So ooh, all the way here instead. While letting the club go, you have to prepare your body to go down here. Okay, so again, give enough time in the transition. But the it, 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 uh, it, uh, range of motion inc increases uh, quite a bit here. And the way you uh, swing downward is uh, still, it's not really coming from the lower body, but you just uh, try to swing this way here. Swing this way. So you can swing just the turning the upper body versus if you use the lower body well, you are guiding this using the body here and then throw. So if your goal is to throw both ways, throwing action is uh, different from pulling action. Mm -hmm. If you just uh, pull down, if you pull down, then you tend to pull this way, and that body is kind of lifting already here, going this way here. So that's why you have a lot of sliding. But if your goal is to throw this way, throwing is different. Right. You develop speed here, and then let it go. Let it go here. So both ways, you are, you are almost like you are tossing your hands toward the target, and then that way, both ways, yeah. Throw the, toss the hands, toss the hands in that process. Have the feel of throwing. Uh, the back swing is getting shorter. Back swing is shorter. Both ways, uh, toss, throw all the way, throw all the way, and throw all the way. Yeah. So when you focus on something, then yeah. obviously, yeah, that happens. And in, in the back, in the back, don't try to hold it here. Instead of using the arms and hold it here, let it go all the way. Let it go all the way. Let the wrist go all the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, in, the, in the back swing, in, the, in order to keep enough motion, you have to have a bit faster motion here. So keep using the momentum. Yeah, using the momentum, let it go all the way here. Instead of trying to lift this up. When you try to lift it, then you always uh, control the position here. But feel the, feel the motion of the club head here, and then throw all the way. Using the momentum, let it go. So you, you have to work with the club instead of try to fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you go a bit 
you know, a bit more. So uh, you know, people will usually think it is excessive, excessive action, but I like it. When when you when when your clipping <laughs> when your clipping action goes about this much, then downswing is better. So, uh, so the don't worry about it, and then just uh, let it go all the way. No need to uh, you know fight. No need to worry about too large a background. Yes, yes. Go all the way. Oh, this is short. All the way, all the way. Sure. So your goal is to you should be able to see the clip head here at the end of the backswing. Okay. With the perfect vision, you should be able to see the clip head. Ah, it's a short. More. A bit more. Mm, still, you try to hit the ball, so using the arm here. Relax, relax. You should use, all you do here is let the club head go around. No need to swing, try to hit the ball. Let it go around, let it go around, let it go around, let it go around, let it go around. So your goal is to reach this position, and then this position here, by swinging. Okay, instead of trying to hit the ball hard, Yes, let, let go. Your goal is to uh, just move it all the way around, all the way. Oh, the, in the downswing, you are you're cutting short. You are holding it here in the downswing. Let it go all the way, both ways. Both ways, all the way. Good, yeah, all the way. Good. <laughs> so uh, particularly because you, with this club here, the head is uh, heavy, then what happens is the uh, golfer is afraid of letting it go. Because uh, when the club goes flatter here, then you can really feel the... Well, can I drop off my clubs? I'm at 3 o'clock appointment. Thanks. You can, you can stay if you want. Okay. So when uh, you have a heavy head, then you tend to work pretty short because if it goes uh, horizontal like this, then it feels a lot heavier. It's because of the weight. Weight, weight of the club is acting here. Your hands are here. So this is the, the so-called momentum or lib uh, liberal arm. And the, your weight, the weight of the club is uh, acting here. So the, the momentum is a lot longer. But when you keep it here, the weight is uh, acting downward here. So this is the momentum here. It's a lot shorter. So you feel you, you have less effort to stop it here. But if you go flat here, then you, you can really feel the heavy weight. That's why you don't want to go that far. <clears throat> so one problem with the, the heavy head, usually they stop about here. And then because the back swing is not large enough, usually the body is leading early. Particularly this happens in the junior players. But in your case, you rely on your muscles to try to uh, cut something here. But let it go all the way here. Actually, when you uh, relax your wrist a little bit, just, just to maintain reasonable tension here, but you don't have to hold it tight here. If you let it go, go easy with your wrist here, then it's a lot easier to handle this kind of heavy, ob heavy head object here. Okay? So go uh, easy with your wrist. Let it go all the way, let it go all the way. Once you feel the motion of the club head, it's a lot easier to swing. Yeah, swing around, swing around, all the way. Swing around, all the way. Both ways, both, yes. Swing, 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 swing. Now, now, if you do that, as you do that, you have to have this big picture here, so, which is the swing motion is basically from here all the way to here. 
and then all the way to here, all the way to here, right? If you keep the whole motion in, in the image here, you can have better acceleration, deceleration to this, uh, this finished position, acceleration, deceleration to the finished position. So you can organize the, the entire motion better. So swing and slow down all the way here, swing and slow down all the way, swing and slow down all the way, so you can connect the motion back and forth. So keep, the, keep in the image the, the whole motion, okay? And then you're moving the clip head around the body. Yeah, now the motion is a lot simpler. Now the motion is a lot simpler. Because you want to move the clip head all the way to this end, all the way to this end, all the way to this end. But if this is short here, you cut it short, then you try to use the muscles, right? But if you let it go, you don't have to fight. And then what the effort, you, you, you have to put the effort in pulling this along the shaft here, and then swing through instead of cut it short. On the way back, you're already fighting to cut it short, and then try to cut something, push this, you know, using a lot of muscular effort. Yeah. Yeah. Let it go all the way, a bit easy. Twist. And then the whole motion is in the image. Your goal is moving the clip head around all the way, swing, swing all the way, yes. Yes. Oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. So let me record this and show you. So do not fight and then let it go all the way. Okay, ready, go, swing through all the way. Feel the motion of the head and let it go, let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so initially the backswing was a bit limited, but later you had a bigger backswing, okay. Go, swing through all the way. Feel the motion of the head and let it go, let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So now the color is moving. And then if we go back to uh, your initial swing here, go. This Quite, quite obvious that you try to use muscles. Yeah. So, more than anything at your, at your age, it's important to use uh, the entire range of motion of the body instead of uh, using uh, muscles. Okay. Now, let's go to the rope swing here. 